Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need with a, uh, another 3SX video tutorial. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uh, made any videos, uh, sorry about that, I got a little sick. And uh, haven't been able to make videos lately. Um, but here's going to be the first one. Uh, I had like two months, so. Alright, uh, this is basically what we're going to do. We're just going to create this chain, uh, this ball here, or the base or whatever it is. Basically, put a circular sphere and a uh, few cones on it. Alright, here's my uh, setup for the scene. Uh, just one on uh, the light, and then uh, we got the material and stuff. You render it out like this. Got to do that really quick. It just makes it look a little bit more dull. So I added a light to uh, help the look of the chain and such. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, delete all of this. <coughs> and uh, we can take off this safe frame. Uh, a grid. Alright. Alright, uh, so the way we're going to do this is a way that I learned when I first started. Uh, I'll post a link in the description if I can remember where I got the tutorial. Um, but, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to use a spline here, and, uh, we're going to make it a rectangle. We're going to do this in a front view for just because it's the easiest one to, uh, manipulate around with. Uh, change the quarter radius until you have a good kind of shape like that. Alright, and then we're going to come into rendering, enable and render, enable viewport. <laughs> Bring up the thickness a lot so that way uh, it turns into like an actual chain link looking. Uh, Alright, and now this is our link here. If you want to know my uh, exact parameters, I think if you view in high quality, uh, you can see it, but uh, just in case you can, the uh, length is 161. Uh, 0.778. I forgot Width a little bit here, I think. Width is uh, about 90, and the corner radius is about 30. Alright, <clears throat> so now that we've got this done, um, we're going to go ahead and convert this. You can convert it to an editable poly, or you can just keep it how it is. Either way, you're still going to be able to render it with this here. Alright. So, uh, First thing we're going to do is uh, look at it in our viewport here and just kind of make sure that uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Alright, next thing we're going to do is go back to the arrangement. <coughs> Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to add this and we're going to change it from fog to metal and we're going to go ahead and bring it up. So it has a lot of specular and quite a lot of glossiness to it that way. It looks a little bit dull, and you can kind of see the metal kind of material or using here. Something like this, maybe about 50 would probably be the best bet for about what we want. Um, index of refraction, you bring that up to about 4. Uh, luminosity, pull this down just a slight, slight amount. Uh, that'll Illuminate some of the other blackness. Uh, the diffuse is fine. You can make it darker if you want or lighter. Uh, all depends on what you're doing. Uh, now we're going to use a bump and uh, we'll be dead. Alright, and uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to do this. Be dead twice. Uh, so the second one we want to have. Lot less strength than the uh, other one, or the top one. More iterations here. And we want the size to be kind of big. So we got about a thousand. Alright, now we're going to come back to this one. Uh, all you have to do is click here up arrow, or just down like that. Uh, then we're going to bring up the size on this one as well. And this one, the size will be something about there. Bring up the strength. And let's see, one iteration spot for this. 
Alright. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we come into the maps, select reflect, and we do the fall off. And let's see. Uh, depending on which one we want to use, we're going to switch these two around. Uh, probably can use Fresno. Uh, actually, perpendicular. Perpendicular parallel problem. That's that's for uh, <coughs> the cod that we want here. And this looks pretty uh pretty much right for the most part. Uh, <coughs> and switch around here. That's fine. Okay. Because we just look at uh, at the edge there. Okay, let's bring down the index of refraction just a little bit on uh, this for four. We'll probably bring it to about three. We'll probably give them up here. And uh, so now we have the material and the chain look done. So all we have to do is all the uh, bendings and stuff. Now you can do this the hard way or you can do this the easy way. Hard way is to come in here, hold shift, rotate, right, like this. So, Make sure you got it exactly 90 degrees, and then continue doing that all the way through it. Or you can do it the easy way. And uh, we're going to rotate this um, on the x axis. Oops. Negative 90 or 90, 90, 90, 90, that's probably the, or no, 90, 90, that's what I did. Okay, now we're going to array this, so go to tools, array, and we're going to select preview, and change this x to 100. Alright, and now it goes up a little, a little bit here, don't want that. Uh, do however want to be spaced out a bit more. Let's do a like that. Okay. So now you should have about 10 chain links here. Let's see? And now if I were to render these as is, or as are, as is, I don't know. <coughs> you should have something similar to this. And uh, now, if we go ahead and add a light to this scene, uh, uh, use the free light and just place it right here. I'll actually place another one back there. So these are the two main light places where we render it out. Oops, I forget that. I forget the intensity of the lights. Since I don't have any intensity on these lights, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, too late to work with all this, I'll probably end up just doing Omni. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to actually use Omni lights. <coughs> just for the easy, simple fact that there's not too much configuring that you have to do with it. So, go ahead and do the same exact thing. Omni lights are a little bit brighter too, so you gotta watch where you place them. And as you can see, here's our chain. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked this video. If you did, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want uh, more explanation or if you want to animate this chain, actually, maybe that'll be my next video. Animating this chain, um, let me know. Post a comment, uh, send me a message. You can also add me as a friend if you want. Uh, subscribe. These videos help you. And uh, I hope to see you guys in my next videos. Uh, have a good night, day, weekend, whatever.